talking about my other ex but basically y'all long story short i met this nigga his name is gonna be kyle i met this nigga kyle right this nigga kyle is a gang member or whatever i didn't know i thought he was so in the area that i work in it like people gang bang or whatever so i thought he was from that area originally when i met this man so long story short like he was basically blessing me like 50 come back next day another 50 come back another day another 50 and that should have been a red flag but you know me i'm a good finesse so i'm like you know throwing a bag like what's the deal you feel me so whatever like i'm not gonna lie in this relationship i noticed a lot of red flags too but like i said i'm a work in progress but anyways that's besides the point so you know we was having a cool time you know we would chill um i invited him over my house too soon red flag so y'all before me and him oh my god kaiser Kaiser, move. I'm trying to. So, guys, before me and him even chill, like I'm telling y'all, he applied that motherfucking pressure when it comes to supporting my business, when it came to just giving me shit. Like, he was giving me clothes before we even chill. Like, that's how niggas, as far as him being toxic, yeah, but that's how you niggas need to start coming like him if y'all want to fuck with me because i'm just, what you gotta bring a bag i'm sorry that's just what it is but that was just you know i just wanted to put that in there like he blew a bag before we even chill and that's how it should be like if you claim you like somebody so bad spend spend some money <laughs> so y'all like let me see where i left off basically um yeah we was dating or whatever um when shit started to go left i'll probably say like he would just like bring people over my house when i already told him like ain't none of that bitch i learned from my other fucking ex that it's none of that like i don't play those games um especially if you're not paying no rent you cannot come over there's no chilling this ain't the kicking spot so that was basically one of the red flags i had noticed um and then when shit started to get like really irritating i had a nice little car and this dumbass nigga broke it he did give me my money back though he did buy me another car so that was another red flag um so yeah so he broke my car bam gave me my money back bam um then let's see i'ma just fast forward to the night that just was like are you fucking serious like nigga are you fucking serious so it just happened out of nowhere like you know any relationships is not perfect but when somebody just okay wait hold on i'm missing a part so before i go there another red flag that i noticed which is a no-no I brought him to my auntie house and we was drinking so he was drunk but that's not an excuse this motherfucker was rubbing my dog to where he started crying and my auntie heard this man too like and my auntie don't play about my dog like she don't so my dog started crying or whatever so that was another red flag if somebody is willing to hurt a dog so that was the point where I knew, like, yeah, I got, he's finna get cut off. Like, my auntie had pulled me to the side, like, this nigga gotta go. Like, and I'm telling her, like, I got it. Like, I'm already, I'm already knowing. That was when, really, like, I made up my mind, which he didn't know that this relationship was over. Like, over. So, Yeah um so yeah fast forward to the night that all the crazy shit went down we just chilling like you know yeah we argue but that was you know i didn't see none of this shit coming like trust me off i would have seen this shit coming so we leaving like from work from where i you know we leaving on my way home 
or whatever and he just like i could just tell something was off but it just wasn't registering that the shit that was gonna happen so yeah y'all boom we get to my house we just you know chilling he's still getting on my fucking nerves but like i said i didn't see none of that shit coming and basically i'm trying to remember like like this is kind of recent too y'all like hella hella recent um so we chilling or whatever and i just remember like him telling me like oh he done with me like i don't give a fuck nigga little do you know i'm done with you so you know i wasn't really chipping i'm like okay cool whatever like i'm gonna take your ass home where you need to be tomorrow you feel me like whatever like you want to break up with me fine like he literally called himself breaking up with me knowing damn well bitch what i'll call the shots over here sweetheart anyways so he telling me oh he done with me blah 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 so i'm like okay cool so i'm like okay cool or whatever um so i'm trying to really remember because that shit was so crazy so long story short this nigga just he just flipped basically this nigga gonna give me motherfucking three ultimatums y'all he gave me three fucking ultimatums, y'all. I'm telling y'all. And it was crazy to me. I was laughing at first because I wasn't really taking this nigga serious. Like, he basically told me, you either give me all your fucking money um, or I'm going to break your car that, he, that I just fucking got because he broke my other car or it's going to get ugly for me. Like, he basically going to give me killed beat up whatever the f so yeah he gave me them bullshit three ultimatums bitch i'm laughing like bitch you're funny like and like i noticed like he kind of like serious like like kind of like serious but i'm still like just trying to play it off like yeah just passing time you feel me and so we was like i don't know how we end up fighting but we was up in there tussling like this nigga he hit me like he hit me on my arm he hit me on my fucking, like, my my hip. Um, This nigga fucking threw me on the fucking bed. Like, bitch, it was a mess. So, at that point, I'm like, okay, this nigga is serious. So, you know me, bitch. I protected the bag. You feel me? I grabbed all my motherfucking money. I had put some, like, under, like, my blanket. And, like, I put some in, like, some money in me, like yeah i forgot he hit me in my face too but yeah so long story short yeah like so i noticed he was getting serious so you know i hit the money stashed the money i'm like nigga i don't got no motherfucking money what the fuck are you talking about bitch i'm broke you feel me so this nigga is like very fucking delusional obviously so where i went wrong at y'all because i had hit the money like under my blanket instead of laying on on where i hit it at like i i laid on the other side so this nigga laid on my bed he's still serious still over here telling me yeah like bitch if i don't get this money when i need this money um yeah shit's gonna get ugly your car gonna be fucking broke or you gonna be fucking beat the fuck up or, um, yeah, he gonna rob me, basically. He's still threatening me and all that. And I'm just sitting there crying like a fucking bitch. Um, so, I'm crying or whatever. This nigga basically moved the motherfucking blanket somehow. Get the money. See the money. And he like, oh, I know this ain't all you got. I know this ain't all you got. And I'm over here crying mad. Like, nigga, give me my motherfucking money. Like, Bitch, you're not finna just sit here and rob me. Like, are you fucking serious, nigga? Like, are you serious? I was really hurt, y'all. Because he was pretty much one of the only niggas that really, like, invested in me. Like, as far as giving me shit. Like, so I caught this one nigga, like, um, that I should have been fucking with, to be honest. Um, I feel like he probably don't fuck with me no more. But I'm not really finna disclose his information. But I called this one nigga and he was on the phone listening to all the shit that he was saying, threatening me and all of that. 
And he was basically saying, drop the address, bitch, with the gun. Like, bitch, drop the Addy. Like, drop the motherfucking Addy. Because I'll pull up right now and get that nigga out your house. But see me, y'all, I'm thinking about a whole bunch of crazy shit. Like, I don't want nobody. Him, I really didn't give a fuck about. But the nigga on the phone, I didn't want nobody to get hurt. I didn't want shit to go left. You know, I just was thinking ahead. Like, what if this nigga come and really put a hole in this nigga ass and this nigga is dead? I'm going to jail. So I was thinking about... Yeah, I was just thinking about a whole lot of shit. I'm still fucking crying. I know this nigga like, this fucking bitch, why the fuck is you crying, whore? Like, I was just thinking about a whole lot of shit. I had grabbed a motherfucking knife because he was like... Um, I had closed my door, like, locked my door or whatever, and he was, like, in the living room. And Kaiser, my dog, was, like, outside my door. So when he was knocking on the door, you know, I hear Kaiser crying. So that shit just made me cry even more. I was just like, nigga, are you fucking serious? You hurting my fucking dog? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, you got the money, nigga, leave, leave, get the fuck out. Like, you feel me? I was really devastated, y'all, because I never been motherfucking robbed by a nigga that i'm fucking with like that's what like yeah i probably like had some toxic shit going on yeah so he basically um yeah like just thinking about this shit is really crazy but basically uh i opened the door crying like telling him what the fuck is wrong with you like nigga leave and all of this and all that he basically like he not going nowhere until the fucking morning time so i'm like what the fuck so um yeah so the nigga and you know i know what y'all thinking like why y'all didn't let the nigga that was on the phone with the blower pull up because i was just thinking about a lot like i don't know who the fuck well i know a few of the people he know and they fucking crazy so i don't know like if if i call him he gonna call them and then it's gonna be some shit so i just didn't want i was trying to avoid all of that and in my head i'm thinking like what if this nigga try to kidnap me what if this nigga like try to kill me type shit um but i wasn't finna go all like that like hell to the law so um yeah so i tried to leave y'all I literally opened the door, grabbed my dog, grabbed my keys, bitch. I was finna leave my own fucking apartment. And this nigga, he come outside, he kind of like grabbed me. I'm trying not to make a scene, you know, in front of the neighbors. You feel me? Which I should have probably did. But yeah, he grabbed me like, bitch, where are you going? Like, bitch, I'm like, nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> Fuck are you talking about? And so, like... He kind of, like, grabbed me, like, around my way, I mean, around my head, like, like this, and was, like, walking me back up into the apartment. I go in the apartment. He like, bitch, you're not going nowhere. He locked the door. He's like, you're not leaving. Like, bitch, this nigga barricaded me in my own fucking apartment. At this point, shit just really not registering in my head. So I'm having to think quick. I'm trying to, like, think of some shit. So I'm like, all right, I'm finna just go to the store, my nigga. I'm finna, I'm finna walk to the store, my nigga. Like, that's all I'm finna do is walk to the store. Like, I'm not finna take my car, like, nigga. I'm just going to the store. And I really feel like he had some greater plans with me, y'all, because I'm gonna get there. In a yeah, so he wasn't going for that, bitch. This motherfucking nigga walked with me to the motherfucking store. Bitch, how the fuck... How? I'm just so motherfucking confused. How the fuck he, like, wouldn't let me walk to the store? 